friends in this video i am sharing a few of my thoughts on an important topic academic audit and quality assurance in higher education quality relates to educational process and learning experiences of students which ultimately lead to standards quality relates to the curriculum infrastructural facilities teaching methods implemented assessment methods used and the overall students learning experience that is the process standards the students learning outcomes in the program in the cognitive domain related to thinking psychomotor domain related to physical activities affective domain related to emotions attitudes human values and beliefs and physical education that is games sports physical exercises including yoga the teachers have to design and implement the process in order to achieve the desired product the quality assurance of higher education institutions includes the quality of the academic programs that is cur curriculum design and learner centered pedagogical practices quality of research both academic and sponsored and consultancy quality of outreach programs community service faculty student ratio competent faculty faculty development programs academic leadership and governance student support systems guidance counseling and mentoring of students placement of students in industry or research labs or other governmental and non governmental organizations academic audit both internal and external plays a vital role in monitoring the various components of the quality of higher education institutions on a continuous basis once in a year or a semester and thereby improving the quality the national assessment and accreditation council nac made it mandatory for all the institutes of higher education to have external academic audit of all the departments and centers of the institutes once a year most of the universities and colleges conduct academic audit through the internal quality assurance cell that is iqac and some of the colleges and universities conduct the same through the academic audit cell the various components of academic audit of higher education institutions are included in this lecture based on the best practices implemented in some of the premier institutions of higher education and also on the revised guidelines of the national assessment and accreditation council nac you can refer to the guidelines effective from 1st april 2023 the template the present template and the guidelines are prepared by keeping in view all the universities and autonomous colleges nevertheless the universities and colleges may further modify the template based on the ground realities of the respective institutions template for academic audit of each department or center of the institutions of higher education important aspects to be included while preparing the for or conducting the academic audit number 1 curriculum of each academic program btech or bform or bsc or ba or bcom or bba bsc mtech mpom or msc or ma or ms mca mba mpa mpa mfa integrated five year programs diploma courses or certificate courses etc please note this point the curriculum of each academic program must be in the nba curriculum framework for engineering pharmacy architecture and management programs and in the ugc learning outcomes based curriculum framework for all other academic programs 
Number two, for each academic program, course file for each of the courses under that program in each semester must be maintained by the concerned faculty member who teaches that course. Three, components in each course file. What are the components in each course file? Let us discuss. Course learning outcomes and syllabus. Target for attaining of the course learning outcomes. Teaching plan. Unit wise for the course. Then lecture schedule. Teaching learning materials. Lecture notes, etc. Question papers for each test or assignment along with the scheme of evaluation for each test or assignment along with mapping of questions to learning outcomes. Three, components of each course file continued. Marks list of each test or assignment or any other assessment method in continuous evaluation. Question wise, class average marks, end semester examination, question paper along with the scheme of evaluation. Marks list in the end semester exam. Question wise class average marks. Grades of the students in the course and analysis of the results in terms of students' performance. And then measurement of attainment of course outcomes. Then identification of gaps between achievement of outcomes and the target. Remedial action for bridging the gaps. Any remedial classes you have conducted, details. Any class review meeting you have conducted, details. Best practices and innovations used in teaching, learning and evaluation, details. Student feedback on the delivery, on the course content, on the attainment of course outcomes in the prescribed template. E-learning strategies implemented like MOOCs. Learning through Moodle, use of ICT tools, free and open source software, etc. Details. Rubrics followed for lab courses or project works or student seminars or field studies or internships, etc. wherever applicable and grading. Student mentoring activities. Details of each mentor mentee meeting. Redressal of Mentee's problems or grievances in the form of action taken report. Then lab number four, infrastructural facilities for teaching. Laboratory facilities with modern equipment for teaching or learning lab courses wherever applicable. Then classrooms with audiovisual equipment and Wi-Fi connectivity. Then availability of library and digital library facility and availability of the prescribed textbooks or reference books for courses in different academic programs in the library. Moodle or any other learning management system currently in use by the faculty uses details in with evidence. Then research labs or facilities or equipment. First of the department or the center then available in the central research facilities of the institution in the following format serial number facility funded by whom and then remarks then faculty student ratio and other details of the faculty of the school or department or center so how do we define the faculty student ratio fsr that is equal to number of faculty of the department upon total number of students in all the academic programs put together. Number of faculty of the department upon total number of students in all the academic programs put together. Please note another point. A few courses of the academic programs offered by other departments are also handled by many departments. In such cases, the fractional load of the such faculty must be taken into account while calculation of the FSR. 
the number of faculty with PhD degree in a given department. Details faculty wise. Faculty who received any award. Details faculty wise in a table format. Faculty who hold membership in professional bodies. Details faculty wise. Please note that emeritus professors, contractual faculty with less than two years of continuous service, adjunct faculty who handle only a few classes must not be considered for calculation of FSR. It's very important point. Please note that. Research publications, only Web of Science, Scopus, SCA journals, CARE, PubMed, etc. during the previous year. Faculty-wise breakup, numbers only in the following format. Serial number, name of the faculty member, date of joining service in the present institution, number of research publications. Please note that soft copy of the list of publications by, by each faculty member must be made available in a separate file. Then research projects, faculty-wise list during the previous year. Please specify only ongoing or sanctioned projects during the service in the present institution. In this format, serial number, name of the faculty, joining date in service in the present institution, project title in brief, funding agency, quantum of funding in rupees, duration of years of funding. Then patents granted are applied wherever applicable. In all the departments, it may not be applicable. Faculty wise list during the previous year, please specify only those during the service in the present institution. Serial number, name of the faculty, joining date of service in the present institution, patent title in brief, granted or applied, date of granting or application, any other information you wish to include. Then citation index, faculty wise list. Serial number, name of the faculty, date of joining the present institution, H index, where applicable, any other citation index, please specify. Then project reports or dissertations of the PG students, previous academic year only, details in the soft copy. Then thesis of PhD scholars, awarded or submitted during the previous academic year, details in the soft copy. Expert lectures organized from academicians, scientists, social scientists, industrial personnel by the school or department or center as applicable during the previous academic year. Then outreach activities, very important, sir, during the previous academic year, which your department or center carried out. Then facilities for differently abled students, most important, sir, by the school or department or center as applicable on their performance. Special infrastructure for differently abled students. Please list then labs, software, and other tools for differently abled students. List caretakers. One caretaker is to number of blind students. That ratio also please provide. Flexibility in time during tests or examination and assignments and compensatory time as per the U latest UGC guidelines details. Right now you have 2018 guidelines, but later they may modify. So the latest UGC guidelines always you have to refer to. Then guidance, counseling and mentoring of the differently abled students details. Performance of differently abled students in the exams and final grades obtained, analysis of the results, details. Best practices of the school or department or center, academic or administration. Then placement record for each of the academic programs. Then career progression of the outgoing students other than PhD scholars. Then career progression of PhD scholars. Then results. Analysis of results of different academic programs in the previous year. Admission information for each program, including PhD program during the previous year in the following table. 
serial number, academic year, sanctioned intake, number of applications received, and number of students joined. Then books, book chapters published by the department, authored or edited, name of the faculty member, date of joining the present institution, number of books or book chapters. Soft copy of the list of books or book chapters by each faculty member must be made available in a separate file. The national presence or visibility or linkages, numbers only, faculty-wise list. Name of the faculty member, date of joining the present institute, project collaborations, joint publications, membership of advisory boards, other memberships by nomination. Soft copy of the list of project collaborations by each faculty member must be made available in a separate file. Then international presence or visibility or linkages, numbers only, faculty wise list. Again, name of the faculty member, date of joining the present institute, project collaborations, joint collaborations, member wise of membership of advisory boards, other memberships, same format. Soft copy of each of the list of the project collaborations by each faculty member must be made available in a separate file. Then measurement of outcome-based education parameters, OBE parameters, direct measurement of OBE parameters from student performance, semester-wise, course-wise, and program-wise. Then indirect measurement from feedback from students, feedback from parents, feedback from employers, students' performance in competitive examinations, students' placement profile, alumni performance, and feedback. Then energy management details in a template of the entire institute. Water management details in a template. Environment management details in a template. Then conclusion, every university and college must prepare its own template for academic audit and send it to every school or department or center at the beginning of an academic year. The guidelines, and template given in this lecture will be useful to prepare such a template. The template will give a direction to all the stakeholders of the college or university to improve upon quality of education in different academic programs offered by a given department, research, consultancy, outreach programs, and many other areas as mentioned in the template. The internal quality assurance cell, IQAC, of a university or college must be empowered in order to monitor the quality of education in the academic programs offered by all the departments and take steps for improvement of the quality on a continuous basis, very really important, sir, continuous basis. The act, statutes, ordinances, and regulations of a university or college must be adhered to in, our, in the direction of improvement of the quality of higher education. The Board of Governors or the Executive Council, as the case may be, must exercise its powers and discharge its duties and responsibilities in improving the quality of higher education by recruiting the qualified and competent faculty, technical and administrative staff in its purview and providing the necessary infrastructural facilities. Academic leadership and governance plays a vital role in implementation of holistic and multidisciplinary education and doing justice to equity, inclusiveness, and quality in higher education. Equity, inclusiveness, and quality in higher education. A vice chancellor or a principal must be an accomplished academician providing guidance and leadership to fellow teachers. He or she must be a continuous learner, updating knowledge in his or her discipline and frontier areas besides updating learning-centric pedagogical practices and use of ICT in pedagogy. A vice chancellor or principal must also be a great administrator who can take all the stakeholders along with him or her as per the vision and mission of the institution. Dr. S. Radhakrishnan, Dr. C. R. Reddy, Dr. V. C. Kolandai Swami, Dr. S. Krishnaswami, Dr. Gurubak Singh, 
Dr. P. Ramarao and many other great academicians and administrators are known to be great visionaries as vice chancellors and responsible for the development of the respective institutions. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India, in his address in the special convocation of the University of Allahabad on December 13, 1947, quoted his vision of a university which is as follows. A university stands for humanism, for tolerance, for reason, for progress, and for adventure of ideas, and for the search for truth. It stands for the onward march of the human race towards even higher objectives. If the universities discharge their duty adequately, then it is well with the nation and with the people. But if the temple of learning itself becomes a home of narrow bigotry and petty objectives, how then will the nation prosper and people grow in stature? A vast responsibility therefore rests on our universities and educational institutions and those who guide their destinies. Thank you.